Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free easy digital downloads plugin and I'll show you how you can sell digital products on your WordPress website. So if you're not selling any physical product which you need to ship to the customer, then you can use this digital downloads plugin. This plugin has free version as well as the pro versions. However, in this video, I'm going to stick to only the free version of this plugin and I'll show you how you can sell the digital products on your WordPress website. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this demo WordPress website, I'm using Astra theme and I have created this demo website using the Astra starter templates. I'm using InstaWP platform to create multiple WordPress website for testing and learning purposes. If you want to create multiple WordPress website for learning purposes, you can try using InstaWP platform. I have already published a video on how to use InstaWP platform. If you want to watch that video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now let's go back to the dashboard of the WordPress website. And now we are going to install a free easy digital downloads plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for easy digital downloads. So we are going to use the free plugin. This is the plugin easy digital downloads sell digital files, e-commerce store, and payments made easy. Click on install now. You can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 50,000 websites. Click on activate. This will be one of the best alternative if you do not want to use a WooCommerce plugin and if you are creating only digital online store. So the plugin is installed and in the left hand panel, you will see the option downloads. Now in case of WooCommerce plugin, you will see the option WooCommerce or products now, in case of easy digital downloads plugin, you will see the option here downloads, which will show the options for the downloads or the products that you are going to create. Now we are on the setup wizard and this is a small setup wizard. Let's click on get started. So it will ask you for the name of the business. So I'm going to name this. This will be business type individual or company here. You can add your business address, city, zip code business country you can add your business country here i'm going to use united states and uh, business region you can add business region if you want to add it otherwise you can keep it as it is currency right now it is set to us dollar if you want to change it you, you can select the currency from the drop down box currency position before dollar 10 this is the thousand separator and uh, this is decimal separator now let's click on save and continue Next option will be payment method. If, if you want to use Stripe, you can connect your Stripe account. Otherwise, you can skip this step. Later, if you want to connect Stripe or PayPal, you can connect that. Logo, you can add your logo from name. This is for the email settings. Now, whenever someone makes a purchase, it will send an email to the customer. And uh, these are the settings for the email. You can add your business name here again your email address, the admin email address from where the mail will be sent to the customer. Subject, email subject will be purchase receipt. Uh, this is the content of the email that is dear. This will show the name of the customer. Thank you for your purchase. Please click on the links below to download your files and it will show the list of downloads. And this will be your website name. Just click on save and continue. Now, conversion and optimization tool, essential e-commerce features. So I'm not going to make any changes here. Let's click on save and continue. Now it is installing some plugins. Now if you do not want to install those plugins, you could have unchecked these options. Right now these options are checked. So that's why it is installing those plugins. Now this is where you can start creating your product, the product name, product image, pricing option, your variable products. So this will be your first product. So let's skip the step and we will create the product manually. Now in the left hand panel under downloads, you will see settings, click on settings. Now this plugin has the pro version right now. We are working on the free version. Let me show you the website. This is the website, the best digital e-commerce plugin for WordPress. And you will see all the features start selling in minutes. 
secure payment, subscription billing, content protection, easy store management, powerful reporting, and 100 plus integrations. And if you want to see the pricing, you can go to pricing here. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to compare different plans, you will see different plans here, personal, extended, professional, and all access pass. You can compare the features and then decide which plan will be better for your website. All right, let's go back to website. And we are on the settings. Under general, you will see the store settings. This is the name of the store. Again, the store address. Whatever you saw in the setup wizard, it is there. Currency. Pages. Now, it is going to create some pages automatically. So whenever you install the plugin, it will create the pages. Checkout page, confirmation page, receipt, transaction failed, order history. Let's go to the website dashboard and go to pages. And you will see all these pages are created automatically. All right, now let's go to payments. And you will see the option. If you want to create test mode, you can enable this one store gateway this is an internal payment gateway which can be used for manually added orders or test purpose only no money is actually processed right now here at the top you will see checkout so this is the checkout this is for the checkout this is for the refund paypal option is there so if you want to integrate paypal you can go to this option and connect your paypal account with your website and you will be able to integrate paypal payment gateway on your wordpress website the next option is stripe again you can connect your stripe account and start accepting payments using stripe subscriptions if you want to create subscriptions you need to upgrade to the pro version i'm going to select this one store gateway default gateway will be automatic so right now we have this option only and payment method icons you can use these icons here save changes Next to that is email settings. So these are the default email templates. Marketing, you can connect your, connect with recapture email marketing. So these are the add-ons that you can use. Let's say if you want to integrate a waiver, you can upgrade to the pro version and integrate the waiver with this tool. You can also add taxes, enable the taxes and add the taxes here, policies, next is extensions you will see all the extensions now here in the left hand panel you will see extensions and you will see all these extensions are available you can integrate all these tools in easy digital download you can see zapier is there if i want to integrate i can click on upgrade and you will see the upgrade option and it will go to the pricing plan from here you can purchase and upgrade to the pro version all right now let's go to downloads here and we are going to create a new product so let's click on add new i'm going to name it as a demo book one so i'm going to sell ebook on the website so this is going to be a digital product which will be sold on the website so whenever someone makes a purchase they will get a link to download the book so you can add your description for the product here and here you will see different pricing options single product if you want to create a bundle of multiple products you can select this option now instead of digital downloads if you want to create a service product you can use the service product i'm going to use single product now pricing options enable variable pricing if you want to variable pricing you can check this box and after that you can enter your different pricings so i'm going to use single pricing here and the price will be nine dollars let's say now we need to add the name so this will be the name of the product demo book one now i need to upload the product actual product so here in this case i'm going to upload a pdf file if you want to upload zip file you can also upload the zip file and you can enter the url let's consider you have these products on different server you can enter the url or you can upload to your own website so i'm going to upload this product here so this will be the link of the product and here you can add some instruction you will see all in one seo settings so i'm not going into the seo settings right now now if you scroll down in the right hand panel you will see categories let's create a category i'm going to add new category 
do that if you want to add tags you can create tags download image i'm going to use an image for this product let's use this one so this will be your product image show featured image in the post so leave it as it is this is excerpt download settings if you want to restrict downloads you can limit the downloads so let's say i do not want customer to download more than nine times i can add nine number here zero for unlimited now here you will see refund status so if you want to allow refund you can select this option refundable and you can add the refund window that will be let's say 15 days so within 15 days customer can apply for the refund button options hide purchase button so i'm not going to make any changes here right now we are going to publish it let's publish and let's see how does this look so this is how to look so this is the name of the product you can add more description i have not added anything here and when someone clicks on purchase it will go to checkout you will see the product now here customer just need to enter the first name last name and email address and they can make a purchase so they do not need to enter their physical address because we are not going to ship any product any physical product to the customer so it's going to make the process simple all right so this is about the first product let's add one more product let's go to dashboard again click add new and i'm going to add second book this will be again single product and the pricing will be let's say 15 dollars name of the product and let's add a new product here this is the product now here i'm going to select the category change the image show featured image in post we have checked this box now download settings all right let's publish it let's view the page and you will see this option here this is the second product the first product demo book one this is the second product and if i go to downloads you will see both the products are here now you can customize this layout right now i'm using astra theme on this website and i can use astra pro plugin to customize the layout let me show you let's go back to dashboard and let's go to astra and under astra you will see this option easy digital downloads you will need astra pro plugin to customize the layout of the downloads as well as the single product page in easy digital downloads so if you have astra pro plugin you can customize this layout and on the product page you can see that we are not able to see the image of the product so you can customize that one using the astra pro plugin if you want to edit this product you can simply go to edit download and here you can if you want you can add the image here also let's update it let's view the download so this is how the product will look now let me open this page in another browser where i'm not logged in and let's try to make a purchase as a customer so i have opened this product in a different browser and i'm not logged into the website on this browser so i'm going to make a purchase this is the product let's click on purchase this is the checkout option and it shows add it to cart let's go to checkout this is the product and here it will ask you only for the email address first name and last name so let's try this one let's click on purchase the product is purchased and i can download the product from here if i click on it it will give me the option to download the product so as a customer i have bought this product and i can download it from here now let's go back to dashboard and let's go to pages here you will see all the pages here order history now if customer wants to see their order history this is the page created by this plugin so what you can do you can add this link into the main menu so that customer will be able to see this product let's see i can go to menus and i can add a custom link here and name it as my purchase my books click on add to menu 
save it now let's go back to the website and let me refresh it i'm logged in as a customer here you will see this option here if i go to my books i can see the order history from here i can go to the product and again i can download the product from here so this will be an option for the customer so that they can download their products so if you are not selling any physical product and if you only want to sell some digital products on your website you can try using this plugin and i guess the free version is good enough you can enable the paypal and stripe payment gateways and you can start accepting payments using these two payment gateways so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.